Hi there, we're going to be making some muscadine jam today. To start with, you're going to be needing two quarts. This is actually four quarts. We're going to double it up though. <clears throat> the two quarts here is going to be eight cups worth of these muscadines. Here's the inside of a muscadine. Squeeze this part out. People usually chew on this for a second or so and spit it out. Inside of here, this is very good taste and has uh, usually three little seeds and you end up just spitting them out. Yeah, they said that uh, if you swallow all of that, it's great for you, but uh... Yeah, they said this, this is really healthy. You usually spit them out. The first step here is going to be removing the pulp from the holes, which is the, uh, the holes is the tough outer skin. But don't throw it away. Uh, keep the tough outer skin, and when we're all done here, we're going to put all that in a big bowl and set it to the side because we're going to be using them also. Finally done doing this here. The next step is to put it over here on the stove, and we're going to turn this on, and we're going to boil this for 10 minutes. Put it on like medium high. Ten minutes. And I guess we need to set it on the other eye. Yeah, I'll set it off the heat. And that's how she's looking though. Now the seeds are a whole lot more accessible and that's the next step here when this cools is getting these seeds out. While we're waiting on that to cool, let's go ahead and get these holes over here. Get them in a pot and we're going to add just enough water to go over the top of them and we're going to boil these for 15 minutes okay these are going to be boiled for when it starts boiling for 15 minutes and they will eventually end up being soft and tender okay we're looking at 15 minutes in they are a whole lot more soft now let's take these on off and let them cool Alright, after you have got all the seeds out of the pulp with your Foley food mill, it is time now to come over here and we are going to blend every one of these on puree until they are all quite smooth. Okay. Okay, I think that'll do it. Go ahead and get this on over here for in our cooking pot. Then we'll put in the final ingredient. We're going to be putting five and three quarter cups of sugar. In case that last part didn't get. Now, let's go ahead and add it in. We'll give this a good stir around. Stir it up really good. Then we're going to get it over on the stove and bring it to a boil. All right, we put her up on around medium high-ish, and we're going to keep on stirring this after it starts heating up good enough, continuously stirring it. And we're looking to reach around 220 to 225 degrees, which is this stuff's gelling point. That's what we're going for here. We will get back with you then. Alright, we are about 10 minutes in, so I'm going to get a little bit of this on the spoon and a clean plate here. Just put you some on it. And take your plate over there and just set it off the heat somewhere on the table. And give that a minute or so, and we'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, do like this with your plate and give it a test. 
You can still see it is slowly trying to run down there. We like it a little bit thicker, so we're going to give it about five more minutes in the pot boiling. Okay, this stuff is ready. It's time to turn our heat down. We will have to clean our little thermometer. And it's jarring time. You want to fill these up until they have about a quarter inch of head space. So a quarter inch below the, the top there. Go ahead and get your top on here. Give that a little snugness to it. And we're going to go ahead and set this back down in the boiling water. That's not boiling yet, but it will be. this process until we filled up as many jars here which is usually around four here with the two quarts that we did sure smells delicious I can tell you that one tried to get away You can look in here and see, but this is how much we have left over. This will be our fourth. Yeah. And it's the fourth jar. And that's how much is left over in there. Not quite enough, but we're going to do it anyway. And this will be the jar that we stick in the refrigerator and use to start on eating. I'm going to put, get it up about two inches over the top of these jars here. So get the water over two inches over. And we're going to bring it to a boil. Get it back to the boiling status. And we're going to put the lid on here after it's boiling. And we're going to boil it for ten minutes with the lid on. Okay, it has been ten minutes. So we can turn off the heat. And we'll go ahead and take off the top and get it ready. And we're going to set it in the pantry and leave it undisturbed for a couple of days. And in about two minutes or so, after it comes out of the water, you'll start hearing that little popping sound, and that's the uh, lid sealing. Don't put them right up close to each other, either leave a little space beside them. Helps them to cool it. Okay, it is taste test time. This is the jar we didn't fill all the way, so it's going to be the first one gone. Oh yeah, that spreads quite nicely. And smells delicious. Let's go for an extra bit here. It's delicious. <laughs>